Hello dear friends, today we will start with timers and counters. Timers are the peripherals which provide the user with mechanism for generating time delays. Time delays means calculated delays. Timers can be used as uh, a scheduler. These are used to generate delays and also these are used to generate periodic interrupts. First in chance of multitasking means uh, arranging number of tasks according to the interrupts. It can be achieved without using an operating system, but it can be achieved through timers. 8051 has two timer peripherals, one is timer 0 and timer 1. And these two timers are 16 bit timer peripherals. And the special function registers which are related to timers are T mod and then T con. These two are the basic registers which are used for the timer controlling. And there are four modes of operation. One is mode 0, mode 1, mode 2, mode 3. Mode 0 is a 13 bit timer or counter. Mode 1 is 16 bit timer or counter. And mode 2 is 8 bit auto reload mode. Mode 3 is 8 bit split timers mode. Let's start with our SFRs related to timer. First one is T mode. Let's see data set. What does it say? Timer 0. Sorry, T mode. Let's go for T mod register. See timer one T mod register. T mod can be used for both of the timers like timer zero and timer one. It has having eight bits gate one C by T bar M one M zero. This gate C by T bar m1 m0 these are common for both the timers like timer 0 and timer 1 the first the upper nibble is related to timer 1 and lower nibble is related to timer 0 gate gate is used for timer gating control bit it can be used for timer 1 it can be used for timer 0 bit number 7 and bit number 3 bit number 7 can be used for timer 1 and bit number 3 can be used for timer 0 whenever it's it is enabled to timer 1 only while the in, interrupt means the external interrupt 1 int 1 bar pin is high and t bar 1 is set likewise we can go through c by t bar also timer counter or timer select bit clear for timer operation if you want to use it as timer op as a timer then you have to choose that you have to clear the timer so clear for timer operation and timer 1 counts the divided down system clock set for counter operation timer 1 counts negative transitions on external pin t1 similarly c by t bar 0 timer 0 or timer 0 counter or timer select bit clear for timer operation timer 0 counters the divided down system clock set for counter operation timer 0 counts negative transition on external pin t0 also here i, I was uh, saying about saying that there are four modes of operation like mode 0 mode 1 mode 2 and mode 3 mode 0 is a 8 bit timer or counter mode mode 1 is a 16 bit timer or counter mode mode 2 is a 8 bit auto reload timer or counter mode 3 is timer 1 halted routine count what does it mean it means something like uh, here you can see timer 1 halted retains count means in this mode we can't use the timer 1 okay so how this can be used let's see let's go to programming before that we should know about the tcon register tcon register is having 8 bits the first means the in the upper nibble the first bit means the bit number 7 of tcon register is tf1 and bit number 6 is tr1 bit number 5 is tf0 bit number 4 is tr0 these upper nibble is used for timers and the lower nibble which is including bit number 3 2 1 and 0 these are used for external interrupts tr0 timer 0 run control bit when this bit is clear timer or counter 0 is disabled when set timer or counter 0 is enabled likewise tr1 timer 1 run control bit 
when clear time error counter 1 is disable when set time error counter 1 is enable then these two bits are software controlled we have to control through our programs then bit number 5 and 4 tf0 and tr0 timer 0 overflow flag these overflow flags are set by the hardware means when the counter uh, when the timer reaches at its maximum point it starts overflowing these are set by hardware when timer or counter 0 overflows clear by hardware when processor branches to isr similarly tf1 timer 1 overflow flag set by hardware when timer or counter 1 overflows clear by hardware when processor branches to isr and the lower number is used for the external interrupts i have already told you so these things will be discussed later in the interrupt part so now let's go for the programming timer 0 mode 0 <coughs> see t mode equals to 0x00 i am writing 0x00 means the binary value is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 these four bits the 